Hi, this is Arna from uh, Coding Blocks, and in this video, we're going to see how the call stack works in JavaScript. So um, let's start with um, a function. Let's say a function O and uh, says uh, let's make a dent in the universe. And uh, to do that, he call his uh, CTO. Let's create a CTO function. Um, the CTO says, let's uh, make a product. Do that, he needs to call the VP of engineering. Okay. VP of engineering, uh, this, uh, let's uh, make a new JavaScript. Uh, Framework okay, and uh, the VP engineering needs to call the tech lead for this to happen. So, call the tech lead and tech lead is uh, And uh, he calls the developer. <laughs> then we have uh, developer, and what developer does is so that's pretty much how the software engineering world works, right? Okay. Um. Now, what you're gonna do is. Uh, we obviously uh, just our first this and um, oh sorry uh, we need to call the CEO function uh, so I call the CEO function and uh, there we go so that's how the functions are called um, what happens when uh, we when this uh, code exactly what happens is um, call the CEO function um, right and uh, happens something like this there's something called a call stack in uh, JavaScript okay and call stack uh, works a bit like this so there's the call stack And when we call the CEO function, uh, so the CEO function is added as the first entity into my call stack. And since the CEO calls the CTO function, which means this gets comes into my call stack now. CTO function comes in, and similarly on top of that, the VP hearing function gets called, and which further calls the tech lead function and which further calls the developer function okay so that's how your call stack gets created uh, each function whenever you call a function from within another function like there is a function and from inside that function you call another function so uh, that basically leads that to be added to the call stack um, like this okay um, When uh, we are executing, for example, uh, this line of code, uh, this uh, say, let's say this line of code we are executing, uh, we are uh, somewhere here in our call stack, and all of these functions are already loaded into my call stack. And we can actually see uh, that they are loaded in the call stack if we try to throw an error in our JavaScript code. So, um, what we're going to do is, uh, let's say, um, we'll take the tech lead here and say uh, let's say take the developer here and we say throw new error and let's say the error is didn't work as expected and if we run this 
what you're going to see is that uh, you see a lot of uh, throw new error the code didn't work this happened at line number 37 here and there is the call stack in your error uh, down here it says that uh, the function below this in our stack is uh, line number th uh, 37 which was called by line number 32 which was called by line number 27 which was called by line number 22 which was called by line number 17 and uh, called by line number 40 because we called our CE okay so um, basically uh, how this entire process uh, works is that uh, these all functions get uh, get into our uh, call stack and in our developer function when we run our return line we do not actually have a return line here because it's a void returning function uh, but when this function gets called uh, then uh, this is removed from our call stack and then we go back to our calling function uh, the tech lead returns and this gets removed from our call stack further we return another level pp engineering and this function returns and that goes away from our call stack and from there we go here and um, so on and so on when uh, CEO returns you basically come down there uh, to your code uh, which is um, basically um, down here 